Welcome to another professional fish keepers video. This time I'm just going to do this with my phone. Uh, I will be talking a little bit about the Condylactus and the enemy. They are a local and enemy here in Florida. We can find them in the Keys. And also, it's a Caribbean and enemy. So there's other countries that have this and enemy like Haiti, Republic of Dominican, Puerto Rico, uh, and uh, Cuba, so on and so on. Um, so this is an enemy Condylactus. So let me show you. So it's on the the enemy tank right here. That's where I put all the clowns, uh, the wild ones, and I also put farm raised ones. And the farm raised ones end up learning with the uh, wild ones. And uh, see the spot tintus. There's spot tintus here. They are farm raised somewhere. That's a con that's a Clarky. There's tomatoes, Clarkies. Sometimes I have Ocellaris also here, but I I took them to Rifapalooza and I didn't put them here. I actually put them on the boat tank on the other side. But, uh, oh, that's a spot Sintus right there. So these ones were farm race. Uh, but see, they are hosting the enemies already. But these ones, they do host the, the Clark, the Condylactus and enemy. Usually, Condylactus and enemies, it's, clownfish are not used to this type of an enemy. Because they're Caribbean, in here there's no um, there's no clowns, but they eventually they do tend to to host it, as you guys can see. The the Condylactus they will have a little bit more density of nematocysts in their tentacles. Nematocysts are stinging cells that uh, anemones and even corals they use to uh, stung zooplankton, hold it, and then drag it. To the mouth that's pretty much a big mouth with fingers to grab the food that's what that's that's what it is this one right here is a long tentacle a long tentacle and there's a condylactus an enemy and you see this guy is like in between them and you know, also there's a hierarchy in the clowns so the little ones they tend to be more in the perimeter of the enemies and the more dominant ones will stay in the center or this will be the center in between two enemies in this case. See, that's a, that's a highly dominant position. That one is right in the center. So that's a condylactus. So there's variations in between them. Sometimes you get a more darker tentacles and uh, green polyps, uh, white tentacles, blue tips, green tips. And sometimes the base is red, sometimes it's not. So there's a, there's a good variation in between these anemones. Different angle. So you got all these clowns. And different species. They are all together. There's another one there. That's a tube anemone. I don't know if I explained it already, but they have this base. Uh, it feels like a muscle. They use, it's like a finger they use to dig into the sand bed. And then the only thing you see outside is the oral uh, disc with the tentacles. Clowns will not host these ones at all. Um, these are predatorial, so as plankton passes by or small fish passes by, they will grab them. Same thing with these, with any anemone. They they are predators, so if uh, they use clownfish, use the anemones as a symbiosis, so they will be protected by the anemone because the other fish don't have the capacity. Of uh, not getting stung like like the clownfish so that's the thing that uh, creates this symbiosis but feed clownfish will also bring food for them to keep these anemones you want to have a good light in this case I got some AI's AI LEDs really good light and uh, I'll say at least current uh, orbit uh, IC uh, LEDs keep phosphates low, nitrates uh, low, you know, medium flow doesn't need to be anything crazy. Uh, if you want to feed them, feed them, but there's not uh, a real need to, to feed these anemones because they're photosynthetic, also. Cuban enemies, you do can feed them, it's, it will be good for them, but um, I think that's it, guys. So, tomorrow, I'll do another little video. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye.